Well, as May comes to a close and we get ready for summer to kick into high gear, we're shedding light on skin cancer awareness. This is really so important, especially here in Florida. May is Skin Cancer Awareness Month, and it is the most common form of cancer in the U.S., with more than 5 million cases diagnosed each year. Yeah, melanoma is one of the more dangerous kinds of its likeness, is its spread. Uh, if it's not detected or treated early while prevention with sunscreen and getting skin cancer checks is key tend to have a base Sarah Rosario speaks to local doctors about a technology they could play or they say could play a big role in skin protection and the fight against skin cancer. The light from this laser moves across this patient's face. Board certified Dr. John Sosa is using what's known as the ultra clear laser. It's said to target sun damaged skin, remove precancerous cells and reduce the risk of developing skin cancer. The evidence that's out there that uh, we can possibly reduce sort of the, the skin cancer risk and that's really from decreasing the photo damage or the sun induced damage in the skin. So when you're you know, reducing the photo damage, that's where that decrease in risk comes from. He and nurse practitioner Alyssa Mallon see patients with sun damage regularly. Essentially what we're doing with the laser is ablating it. It's a different method of getting rid of it, but it does also remove precancerous cells. Melanoma is the deadliest form of skin cancer and one of the most preventable if detected early. But for those who haven't taken the proper preventative measures, this could help. It's very similar to a CO2 laser. It's very powerful and we get really dramatic, amazing results with it. Unlike other lasers, Ultra Clear can treat all skin types and ethnicities. When we get their skin to goal, we can easily maintain it. While it's a good preventative tool, Dr. Sosa and Malin emphasize the importance of sun protection. The sunscreen obviously is going to be your biggest prevention tool, making sure you're applying a, a really good sunscreen with a minimum SPF of 30. Of melanoma cases, a majority are diagnosed in men who are less likely than women to get their skin checked. Dr. Sosa says it's important to prioritize skin health year round. Especially if you're at high risk, doing self-examination. If there's any suspicious moles, you definitely want to get that checked out by a board certified dermatologist. And in between those skin checks, lasers like this one can help. And I call it the gym for your skin. Um, and once you get those results, it's easy to maintain. Yeah, we really need to start taking care of our skin. I've, Absolutely. I've learned personally and, and we need to yeah. we need a sunscreen and hats and all the good stuff. And I find shade all the time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when it comes to protecting our skin from the sun, as the doctor said, it's important to apply sunscreen every couple of hours. Avoid the peak sun. Uh, wear protective clothing like a hat, sunglasses, shirts with SPF in it. That's the new thing. Yeah, that you can buy the SPF. clothes with yep. SPF. Yeah. Yep. And if you have had cancer or a history of it, if it's in your family, it is best to get those skin checks, checks with a dermatologist regularly. I know I go every six months. Yeah. It's just important sure. to stay preventative. Yeah. In the, the earlier they can catch something, the faster that they can get rid that. of it. That's yep. very important.